Hi everybody, this is Art Samurai, and today I'm gonna be reacting to Dungeon Meshi episode 7. So last time we had uh, uh, quite the lighthearted episode, really. <laughs> uh, it was pretty much just uh, fun all around without much uh, emphasis on character moments. I, I don't get me wrong, I really like this Chuck Chill, or no, Chill Chuck <laughs> stuff. Damn, I don't know why I keep mixing that up, like, <laughs> but, uh, whatever. Uh, while it was fun, I don't think it went hard, really, on us, the audience, getting to uh, know him better and learn uh, sides of him that we haven't seen before that much. But I, I still prefer to the first half of the episode, which was uh, funny. But, you know, like I said, uh, <laughs> there didn't seem to be much point to it. And uh, Lyos didn't even get food, which was the point of it. But he failed. He was just, he just kept hopping into paintings and then got caught because apparently there was continu continuity, continuity, continuity in between the paintings. And he got suspected as being like part of an assassination plot or whatever <laughs> so he got out but then even though he even ate inside the painting uh, what he ate didn't stay in, in his stomach which was yeah <laughs> definitely deserving of a, a compl very, very much a lot of complaints but specifically Marcel and then that's when we got to the chill chuck stuff and we got to see that he had quite the averse relationship with the mimics which i don't know if they can mimic anything but the what he sees is that they uh look like they are treasure chests only to lure you into a false sense of security and like eat you or kill you so, uh, when he was uh, taking watch or being guard while everyone was, was asleep, he followed a gem bug and that took him to a mimic. But even though he was like, eh, I'd rather not, he was like, mm, maybe this time I can, I can do it. But then he got careless, so he got caught in a trap and... He had to find a way to get out of there while well, Mimic was trying to kill him. And he managed to do it. <laughs> it, it was... Uh, it was, I was gonna say, closer than he would have liked. But at the same time, he only barely got a scratch on, on his cheek. So, yeah, way better than <laughs> uh, getting maimed. So, yeah. And we got a nice little moment of him, like, not necessarily opening up, but, like, sharing a little bit more of himself with the party. And we got, basically, uh, not, well, because first, at the beginning of the fire, uh, of that whole encounter, he told Marcel that his private life and his personal life are pretty separate and the, this party here is basically just uh did i say personal or private i mean <laughs> that's the same thing i meant uh personal and work life you know something like that and he was basically implying that the party is just work and therefore they don't have any right to get uh specific details about him but then by the end of the episode, he's like, oh, okay, fine. He's letting them in. And now they're part of his private life by letting them know his age. Because he, he was already so annoyed that he, they kept calling him a kid. Or at least Marcel and Senshin did. Which even after that, they still haven't changed their mind. Because, you know, uh, they're races that live pretty freaking long. But at least Laius was like, oh, should I call you Chilchuk-san? So that, that was fun. But yeah, 
kind of pebbling. Let's start in five, four, three, two, one, go. Okay, we're starting with the opening. I wonder if there's any significance to everyone looking like giants in the opening here. Oh, we're going back to uh, the party that was believed to be dead, right? Yes, like two episodes ago, when we first saw the gem bugs. Revived. Yeah, they got robbed. <laughs> Okay, did not expect this to happen. Mm, they're counting on them fighting our group and killing each other. What? Wait, the music cut off. <laughs> really? Huh. Ah, she looks cuter like that with the banks. He looks so bothered. Oh, uh... Yeah, when they can encountered the red dragon. Mm hmm. Ah, nice. Walking on water. Yeah. Huh? Why? What? What? 
Why is he having a tantrum? What? Why is Senshin being so difficult about this? Thank you. Oh yeah, I forgot he said something like that. Yeah, if you always go for the easy path, you'll forget how to do things. Ah! Whoa! Why did he start sinking? I mean, if he's done it plenty of times before, uh, uh, I, I'm sure it'll be fine. Oh, oh that's pretty. He hasn't done it before? Hmm. <laughs> oh. Whoa. Yeah, why is Lyos being so extreme? Too risky. Damn, I guess Lyos was right. And really couldn't be trusted. Mm. Yo, the animation is going in though. I really wanted to believe it. that since she was right. Okay. I'm not sure. Oh. <laughs> oh, 
they're dead again? No. <laughs> yeah, I figured. Ah, of course. He would remember the one that looks like a beast. Ooh. Oh shit. Chilchuk is like enchanted or something. No, oh, nice. Oh, there's mermaids singing. Is he trying to cancel their singing with his own? That's so funny though, that the other party ended up dead before meeting them. Do you want to eat it? <laughs> Why he slap him? <laughs> um. Okay, yeah, that definitely would be weird. Yeah, don't do it, Laios. That's weird. <laughs> the fact that he he's trying to rationalize it so much. Laios is such a weirdo <laughs> when it comes to eating. Don't. Are you kidding? He's actually gonna let him... You did. Please take it back. Her scolding didn't last long. We shouldn't let her know. Ah, uh, okay. Mm-hmm. I don't know if this is what's going to happen. <laughs> wow. 
Wow. He has he has so much more now. Oh, it worked. <laughs> Cute. Yes. Oh, this is sweet. Okay. Maybe some soap got into my eye too. Ooh. Oh. Ooh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Ah, okay, so that's why. Guys, guys, pay attention below. Y oh, an octopus? I think they're swimming away from something. Mm -hmm. Yes, you guys gotta run. Ooh. It's a squid. No, never mind. <laughs> yeah, it's very hard to tell. Oh, a cracking. Where's Marcel? Uh. Ah. Mm, it wasn't very effective. Yep. You need something more powerful. Ah! Mm, a trident. Mm. The same type of magic? Mm? It We got this. Mm. Yeah, so it doesn't it doesn't go underwater again. Oh. 
What? Why did it go white? But I guess it means it's dead? Hmm? Ah! Yeah, you've never tried them? I'm surprised there's no takoyaki there. Yeah. What? It looks weird being all white and like that. Mm. Huh. Mm. Ew. Why does he look like... <laughs> I don't know. I don't... Lyos is weird. Yeah. You're eating the parasite inside of the monster. Definitely not something I expected, but if you can do it, I guess. No, he's just gonna eat it like that. That, to be fair, it does look good. Mm. Oh, is she? <laughs> I figured. I don't know. Oh. You're kidding. If it isn't the consequences of his own actions. <laughs> You're what? Okay. E. <laughs> mm. The circle of life. Everything will work out. Mm. <laughs> uh, I guess that happens if you're if you don't if you're not patient.
to eat eat food like it should be okay now let me vibe to the ending <laughs> and the ending but the ending is just i don't know it's so much more catchy and upbeat like it just it's that kind of song that just makes you feel so good at the whole time that you're listening to it <clears throat> easily one of the best songs in like the whole anime season that we're in and it's uh i hadn't <laughs> noticed before but it it's uh, by Ryoku Shokushakai who are the same ones that did the first opening of uh, the Apothe Apothecary Diaries and also I think it's like ending 7 of My Hero Academia as well so yeah it's pretty good <laughs> I just I cannot listen to it ever since like last week I think I've been listening to it almost non-stop and it's just yeah it's constantly in my head <laughs> but anyway the episode um yeah I really quite enjoyed it uh I think it's better than last week's <clears throat> and I just really like how it felt pretty cohesive throughout in regards to uh, the story beats like we just stayed well aside from the very very beginning with the other i i don't <laughs> i don't know how to uh think about the other party like are they supposed to be just a uh, funny random fodder or are they gonna become relevant and I'm, I'm sure they will but i th <laughs> it'll be funny that someone else will probably just come revive them and then they'll get killed before they reach our group again like that's i just feel like that's gonna become a a recurring gag and uh yeah it's gonna be funny every time <clears throat> but yeah besides that we spent pretty much the whole episode in this um like water temple like uh, part of the dungeon and it was pretty fun just seeing all the kinds of different monsters that are in it there's some pretty uh, typical ones like mermaids and like fish fishmen or merman I don't remember the specific term and then there was one the kelpie I think I've only ever seen it in um, uh, the ancient mage's bride so I already knew what it could do before it was explained but I was like oh maybe here it'll be different because it didn't look that um well the way that it was portrayed didn't look that menacing or like it had any sort of like dark intentions and 
yeah, Senshi and Marcel seem to think so as well. But good thing that uh, Laios was very vigilant and cautious about it. <clears throat> and even though I, I do appreciate that he didn't just uh, cut down the Kelpie right away, he, he gave it a chance and then so immediately, yeah, okay, this was a bad idea and went straight to rescue Senshi. But I do find it interesting how, even though Senshi was just uh, quite surprised uh, that the Kelpie, uh, yeah, it had basically been waiting for him to to ride it so it could take him underwater. There's definitely like, I don't know, it, it's something akin to like seeing a, a, like a, a cat, like the way that you see a very cute cat and then you see it just kill a mouse like nothing. And it's like, oh, right. You know that, like a grim reminder of, yeah, it's not just a cute pet. But yeah, Senshi, as he knows best, uh, it's, he's a very much like a naturalist. So it's like, he, Senshi kind of gives me, um, or at least the way that he thinks reminds me a bit of a Serpa from uh, Golden Kamui. Well, I guess, you know, uh, a Serpa is an Ainu, so technically uh, it reminds me of Ainu beliefs, rather, in regards to how they treat animals. <clears throat> but not too much, rather, because they treat them as sort of like gods. But at the same time, they also are very practical about them for food. Where Ascension just uh, goes about it for food. But at the same time, he holds a lot of respect for them. But it, he holds a good line in between. Or he's not, he's not Laios, but also he doesn't worship them and thinks that, uh, yeah, we shouldn't use them for uh, eating at all. Like Marcel, maybe. Not for the same reasons I'm thinking, but yeah. So, yeah, after he got over the scare, he was already ready to start uh, flaying it <laughs> for food. Uh, then we see Chilchuk and Laius see the, the other party got wasted again and almost get <clears throat> charmed by mermaids. Uh, but Laius managed to get Chilchuk out of it. And yeah, somehow he canceled it with his own singing. And then they get back and then he wanted to eat a fishman. Yeah, that definitely would have been weird. Like, the way that his anatomy looks, looks way too much uh, like a human's to me. <laughs> to feel... Uh, good <laughs> about seeing them trying to eat it. Although, I don't know how to interpret that, you know, when Chilchuk asks Marcel if she... If she thought the food was good, and she was like, yeah. And that was that. No more explanation. I mean, we don't see Chilchuk uh, think anything of it. Like, I guess we just gotta assume that because Marcel liked it, he was okay with it. I don't know. I wonder if we're gonna explore that sort of thing again. With Laios trying to eat someone that looks too humanoid. Yeah, Laios just literally would eat almost anything. There doesn't seem to be any limits, really. Other than, you know, I guess just his own companions. And even then, if he was starving, I don't know, would he do it? <laughs> Maybe I'm getting ahead of myself. But I really like the 
little segment of Marcel using like the fat of the kelpie to like clean and wash Sanchi's beard. At first I thought, oh, we're just showing all this, but then the punchline is gonna be that it's not gonna work again. But no, it did. It was just really sweet how Sanchi was like, huh, I guess magic does have its good uses. There's nothing wrong with using it every once in a while like this. And the fact that I, I want to say he 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 might have like had had um, tears in his eyes, but he just you know he <laughs> he said it a different way. I like that. Then we had the whole uh, battle with the kraken, and it was fun. But other than that, we didn't really get much out of it except for the whole. A beat at the end with uh, Senshi being like, yeah, the circle of life will just continue and even if we think that we're uh, intruding in it, we, we are part of it. So it doesn't matter what we do at the moment. It'll find a way to come back. And then of course Lyos being a bit of a dumbass and letting his stomach make decisions for him. So with that, uh, I've spent way too much talking about it, I feel like, in regards to this, even though there wasn't that much really to go into, but there, there was a lot of fun moments in this one. Uh, so if you enjoyed my reaction, please like and subscribe. Until next time, see ya!